he's a huge uh, influence on me. I really enjoyed Richard Diebenkorn's work over the years. I find it fascinating. You had an opportunity to do a drawing of him. Uh, can you tell us anything about that experience? I remember we met him one evening, and um, uh, we'd met him once or twice previously, but uh, this was a whole evening with him, and he was friendly and delighted me by coming up to me and telling me how much he liked my drawing of E.M. Forster. Oh. It was the used as the frontispiece in Forster's last book, Morris in the American edition, mm. and that's where he'd seen it. And uh, I was uh, very pleased uh, to uh, have praise from such a distinguished artist. And I immediately used the occasion to ask him, would he then sit for me? Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> Good, <laughs> and, uh, and he was Never rather, to miss an opportunity. Uh, 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 he was rather <laughs> uh, stuck. Uh, having praised my work. So, and he lived right across the canyon. I remember he was uh, uh, very antsy about time. Antsy and, about and of time. Course, he was in great demand. It is a great imposition to be asked to, to sit, and especially such a distinguished artist as he. But I did uh, one drawing of him, and he assumed that that was it, and yeah. I said, oh, uh, if you could just bear one more, and he said, oh, but I think he was anxious to get to work as, as I am this morning. Yes. And uh, he said, um, okay, uh, um, uh, and I, I said, uh, I think I can really do a fast one. Yeah. And uh, I think I, I did the second one in about uh, half an hour. Do you prefer that one? And uh, that's the perversity of it. I, I do think it's uh, Better. my favorite of the... Too. Well, you've often said sometimes time constraints can be your best friend in the completion of a painting and not yes, overworking it. You've told me that. But it, it's, it's very high pressure anyway, mm. working with, uh, with, with anybody. Sure. But with a, a very distinguished person, uh, that always adds uh, sure. pressure, tension. And he was tense anyway. Yes. You had the opportunity to do a sitting with, uh, with Frank Gehry. Yes, he came, he came here to my studio. Uh, it's the only drawing I've ever done of him. And we just did one. Uh, it was from a period when I was doing nothing but ink drawings. Oh, it was kind of in between the drawings and the painting. And uh, the uh, ink, they were very careful, very precise. Mm -hmm. They took much longer. And in fact, probably the drawing of Frank took uh, something like at least an hour and a half, probably two hours. That's an awful long time to sit without a break. But Frank was very good. He sat very still. And it was a very good period of mine. And it's one of the best examples of that period. Everything came together. It was just a good day for me. And he very concentrated, very still sitter. And uh, it's one of my... Uh, favorite drawing from that very good time. Is there any uh, artists that you've drawn or painted that will be in the show that you'd like to... Um, I know you mentioned Billy Al Bankston. Peter Alexander, and I think one of my best drawings of Peter. P Peter's, uh, I think, a wonderful artist and, and uh, a very good friend. And though he sat for me many times, I think my favorite drawing of him is from... Uh, our very first uh, sitting. It was the second one of the first sitting uh, we did. What year was that, roughly? Uh, 1969. 1969, yes. so you've known him a long time. Yes. And he's and, still a friend. And he's, he's a wonderful looking man. He sat for me in 1967. And uh, he was, uh, he sat very still. We didn't know each other at all. I just, I'd been at a couple of parties where he was at, but uh, I was so admiring of him, I was too shy really to introduce myself. So our sitting was really my first encounter with him. And it was a commission from Harper's Bazaar. They'd asked me to do drawings of 15 Angelinos, people from this town or people living here. I remember Fred Astaire was one of them, and uh, Nancy Reagan when oh she my. was the governor's lady, well, uh -huh. Betsy Bloomingdale, an actress named Diana Lynn. 
But uh, of all those people, I was most nervous uh, of Billy Al because I admired, admired him. him so. Well, sure. And I was delighted that he sat very well for me and liked the pictures I did of him so much that he suggested a trade. Is that uh, right? I was thrilled. Well, uh, I bet. And we did trade works and uh, that uh, uh, established me in my mind as a uh, part of the LA art world because at least uh, the uh, member of it that I most admired had liked my work well enough to so one one. Uh, sitting. So And then uh, also to one own one. That was very significant. The show w uh, must be something you're looking forward to because it'll be a, a kind of a culmination of some of these artists that you've gotten to know over the years in the area. And I'm sure many of them will be at the opening, and uh, it should be a fantastic yes, show. Yes, and uh, since the drawings were done mostly in the 60s and 70s, it was uh, when they were all looking young and beautiful. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. That's a great uh, wrap. <laughs>